Alright, we are uh, back with the illusion of the Goblin Midrange deck with a bunch of blue jammed into it. I did okay. I kind of like dropped those games to red deck. Not really fun. I started out well, being the control deck, and then I dropped two straight to red deck, which is probably a problem. Um, there are two different types of red decks too, which is a bigger problem. Uh, and then lost to Reanimator, which was close-ish. I don't know. I think that match is doable. I think I maybe I just got a little unlucky, maybe? I don't know. I gotta figure that out. Yeah, there's a lot of like, Red is like a, becoming a bigger player. I think the top eight's going on right now as I'm recording this, and I think there are like three Red decks in the top eight, so I gotta figure that out. Maybe even not like, maybe it's in the wrong spot of where I'm thinking about. What happened to me playing good decks? <laughs> I thought this deck wasn't bad. I think the, I had some stuff going on between War, Siege Gang, and like, War and Weirding. That was all cool. Uh, Cruel getting back war was really good. I liked Cruel Tomato. I mean, it's Cruel Tomato is just a sick card. Maybe that's what I want to be doing. It's Cruel Tomato decks. Just how I win is just like, what's up to me? I like this package. I don't know if I need four Siege Gangs. They are really important, but I don't know how many I actually really need. Um, Sting Thread Girl's fine. You know, most of it's just like fine. But I think the side warning is where I need to like, Get better at that usually takes time to figure out uh like delusions is fine but it really just bought me like maybe like two turns but if i just get flood out yeah i'm mean, like what is gonna happen if i just flood out so i need like some sort of like flood insurance to help me like gain life or something i don't know I'm really not sure I'm gonna figure it out i do like cruel to me though casting a cruel to me again was pretty fun Maybe there, maybe there is something that was like cruel, just playing another cruel to me or something like that. I'm ready to get away from like the old thing, but then I'm just playing my old deck. I haven't played a cruel to me on deck like season four, and that's just like the same deck. And that deck was just okay too. I also just lost a red deck, so I gotta figure that out. Maybe it should be more meta, just less cool. More meta, less cool. Maybe that's where I should be going, but because I missed, I actually I'm not in top eight. That's been a while since I've done that. I, mean, I did it before, but it doesn't feel good. <laughs> so I'll get back to winning next time. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I want to try the deck out. I'm not really sure where it should be going. I'm really, I really want to just like try it out just for fun to see. But just dropping a bunch of games of red deck did not feel fun. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie to you, it did not feel very fun. So think about that. Think about the red deck. I think like I'm better against the control decks. I don't think I need all this stuff. I really miss pillage. If I just had Pillage, I would have beat the Quicksilver Amulet, but options were like a lot different. So maybe like rework the kind of control elements. I like Mind Shatter though, that was pretty good. I don't know. I got uh, I have to do I'm deciding about this deck. If I want to even keep blue or like do I want a cruel deck? Stroke Genius was good too. I mean, as good as I advertised it. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got here. Thank you guys for watching. Follow the Twitch, follow the YouTube. Do it. See it.